Hi, I'm Kelsey Brennan Wessels for the ESA Web TV, and we are here at the Paris Air and Space Show, and we're talking with David Parker, who is the director of exploration, and we're talking about something new. They're called ice cubes. They're not the things that go in your gin tonic. It's something that goes into space. What are ice cubes? Well, about 18 months ago, we decided that uh, rather than just we ESA telling ESA what, uh, telling industry what to do in exploration. Let's ask industry what were the things that they think would enable greater use of low Earth orbit and our uh, exploration beyond low Earth orbit into deep space. And one of the ideas that came in and the first to be ready to go ahead is something called ice cubes. So here is one uh, right here. So it's the opportunity to get payloads aboard the space station much more quickly, more easily, and at a fixed price uh, than ever been possible uh, before. So it's a fast way to get aboard the ISS with a payload. And it's, uh, it looks awfully small, so can you tell me a bit about the size and what kind of things would go in it and how, how would this work? Well, people are becoming quite familiar with the idea of CubeSats, these 10 centimeter cube standard for very small satellites and multiples of 10 centimeters uh, cubes as well. So this is like CubeSats but inside the space station. And rather than having to provide your own power and communications and data relay, that's all provided by the unit, the system that will be installed aboard the Columbus lab the end of next year. So then all that needs to happen is the, uh, the user pays a fixed fee to get aboard the space station, they bring their cube-sized payload or multiples of cubes and off they go for a four, up four, months, four months at a time to do their science, to do their technology or maybe it's an education experiment involving schools. Fixed fee, how much are we talking? So we're talking about 50k euros for a, a, a normal commercial payload with a, a, an educational discount if you can prove it's a real educational value. And do you think this will jumpstart other commercial partnerships? We hope so. This is the first of what we hope will be several commercial partnerships to put in place. This has been a pathfinder. We've had to go through all the legal processes and agreeing the, the, the uh, technical feasibility all the way up to a review with the Director General. But now we've got the go-ahead. We've been able to sign the agreement with a company, uh, Space Application Services of Belgium, who had the idea and now we're going to make it happen. We look forward to see the signs that are coming out of these ice cubes. Thank you so much. Thank you. And to our viewers, remember to keep in touch and to uh, follow what's going on with the ice cubes. Just follow our website, www.esat.int.